Relationship Advice My, 22 male, stepmother, 37 female, tried seducing me while my dad, 45 male, was away for business, and now my dad believes I was the one that tried to seduce her. To start with the background. I'm a current university student, with plans to graduate at the end of this semester. My degree is pretty useless by itself though, so I've lined up a plan to start attending graduate school next year. I have been fortunate to get through most of college with little to no debt, and my dad has some money set aside for my graduate school studies, this will come up later. I live pretty independently from my dad and stepmom, as the university I attend is not in my hometown. Plus, I do have a decent relationship with my father, but he always seems to be away on business trips. As for my stepmother, I'm pretty sure she's never liked me. I just pretty much avoid her as much as possible. So, I'll start getting into the juice of the story. I never really have been too interested in women in an actual sense. I suppose I've been too busy with my academics and work. However, I was recently talking with one of my best friends, and I was beginning to think about asking out a girl in one of my classes, for the sake of the story, she'll be called Dabby. Abby and I actually have some history, as we were coincidentally next door neighbors in our childhood neighborhood. However, my family ended up hating her family. I was too young at the time to understand what was going on, but apparently Abby's older brothers were always getting on my dad's nerves. I think they broke one of her house's windows while playing baseball, were generally loud, and they always scooped their dog's crap from their yard into ours. Me, being a little seven-year-old, didn't really care at all, but my dad still bitter. Anyways, all this to say, I ended up asking out Abby, and we ended up setting up a time for studying together. It's probably no big deal, but I'm excited. So now imagine me a couple of days ago having a great time, high off the fact that I was actually successful for once, when I got myself into this terrible situation. I suppose my first mistake was coming home for the weekend. As usual, my dad was not present when I came home for the weekend, so it was just my stepmom and me. We usually just avoid each other as much as possible because as I mentioned earlier, I'm pretty sure she hates me for whatever reason. This time however, she tried starting up a conversation with me. It started with talking about my dad. She was complaining about how he's gone all the time, and how it must be hard for me to have to live without a real father figure. Considering this is the topic she decides to start with for a conversation, I know I'm about to get into some dangerous waters, but I guess I was naive in thinking that the situation wouldn't worsen. I know my dad isn't great, but I generally have confidence in him, plus he helps pay for my education. My stepmother then mentioned how she sees a lot of features in me that resemble my father, which to be fair, we look fairly similar. Maybe she was just tired of her husband not being around, and she was trying to see him in me? I don't know, but it just keeps getting worse. My sanity and normal life could still be salvaged at this point if the conversation would have ended, but of course not. That would be too easy, right? I should just leave because she's a creep. But no, apparently, she wanted to clarify what she was saying. She started rambling on about how she often wonders what would have happened if she and I had met instead of her marrying my father. Like, what? I need to get out of there ASAP, but here's where the biggest problem is. In trying to understand what she was saying, I must have accidentally blushed or something. She is quite attractive, but I respect my father and would never think about hooking up with his wife. Surely my stepmother would stay faithful to my dad too, right? Right? No. She started to go in for a kiss, but I quickly pushed her away and made it clear that I was not interested. I started grabbing my things so I could leave and go back to my university apartment, and she kept rambling on. Of course, after trying to make a move on me like that, she was pretty devastated with the aftermath. I went back to my apartment, and honestly, I figured I should continue on with my studies, have an awesome date with Abby and go on with my life while avoiding my stepmom as much as possible. In hindsight, perhaps I should have taken a more proactive approach in solving the problem with my stepmother, but I guess I was shell-shocked. Anyways, fast forward to yesterday when I received a call from my dad. He was at home for once, which is super unfortunate timing. Let me tell you. He was absolutely fuming. He yelled about some disgrace and lack of trust in me, and then it all started to make sense. My stepmother must have flipped the script on me before I told my father about her trying to seduce me. I tried to plead my case, but his anger just kept spewing out of my phone. I even tried to tell him about Abby, but he didn't believe me. So, this is where I need help. My father says he's going to stop helping me pay for university, and he's basically cutting me off. He's never been a fantastic guy, but he is successful in his career, 
and it has been nice not to worry too much about going into massive amounts of debt. I don't know what to do. I never had a great relationship with my stepmother to begin with, but now that's absolutely fricked. Now my dad pretty much hates me as well, solely because he believes his wife over me. It would be great if I could fix this all, and pin the situation back on my stepmother somehow, but I'm just not sure he will ever trust me again. So, there's a lot going on in my life right now, and I just don't know what to do. I've got my studies to worry about, a first date, family issues, all within the stresses caused by a pandemic. I just feel royally screwed regardless, but hey, at least I have a date to look forward to. Do you think there is any way to fix any of these relationships? What should I do moving forward? Now for the top advice. Personally, I would send your dad a written letter, email or snail mail, but if snail mail, send it to his work so stepmom can intercept it, and explain that you don't expect him to believe you, but that it was stepmom who made advances towards you, and use actual quotes of things she said, that you got freaked out, told her no, and left immediately. And that, while you don't expect it to change his mind, you wanted him to know the truth about the person he is married to, so that he can be on his guard because she will probably do something similar with someone else, if she hasn't already done so in the past. Also tell him that he is free to cut you off, but he needs to understand that it is a one and deal, if he cuts you off now. He is not allowed to ever attempt to contact you in the future when she cheats on him with other people and he realizes that you were the one telling the truth in this matter, because he either believes you now or he forfeits all right to a relationship with you in future. In other words, tell him the truth and warn him that cutting you off now is a permanent, irreversible action. Thanks for the advice. I'm not a fan of the irreversibility nature of this situation, but I think it's just part of how severe the problem is. It's hard for me to think of other realistic options. Debt for your education sucks, but it's not about that. Your father believed her straight off and didn't even ask your side. Do not touch a single red cent from him no matter what now. Tell him that's not the man you raised me to be. You want to believe her. That's your choice. I'll live my own life. The moment you threaten to cut me off, is the moment I decided I don't want your help any longer. I have too much self-respect for that. That's really well said. I think this is a good mindset for me to have because even if my dad ever believes me, I will be hurt by his initial reaction. Thanks for the advice. This seems like a pretty tricky situation. You say that you have always had an okay relationship with your father, though the fact he trusts his wife says otherwise. I mean, I am trying to imagine if I came home from a trip to find out that my son hit on my wife. If my wife told me of the situation first, I might initially curse my son and stick with my woman. The fact that she told her side of the story first, is important. Do you think it is worth trying to salvage these relationships? Are there any other people that can vouch for you? I mean, I always thought my father and I were cool with each other. I guess I just don't know him as well as I would like, considering he's usually gone. I see what you mean, but obviously it's upsetting for me. I guess I could have my father try talking to some of my friends, or I could ask some of my stepmom's friends if they have any idea why she tried pulling this with me. But that would still be her word against mine. Now for the next story. My, 27 female, family, is upset that I still want a relationship with my dad, 50 male, after he disowned my sister, 19 female. I, 27 female, and my family are in an unusual situation and need some unbiased opinions. For privacy reasons, I'll be using fake names and try not to give too much information that could be traced back to our lives. Long story short, my younger sister, Chelsea, 19 female, is the product of an affair. No one knew until the wife of the man my mom, 50 female, cheated with, went nuclear and my dad, 50 male, took a paternity test on us both. He was furious and divorced my mom and we didn't see him again until the holidays. My dad was really awkward around Chelsea for a while, but agreed to still be her father. It took some time and a lot of family therapy, but we found a way back to our new normal. My dad remarried and had my brother, Jason, 13 male, and I thought we were cool. Obviously, our parents never really told us the truth about why they divorced, and they probably would have taken it to the grave, until Chelsea's paternal grandmother reached out on social media and revealed the truth. We were shocked and I've since gone low contact with my mom, while Chelsea still lives with her for school. Having the truth come out, brought up a lot of old hurt feelings for my dad, but I think he would have kept pressing on like before, until we found out that Chelsea was secretly meeting her bio dad behind our dad's back. He was not happy, extremely hurt, and asked her why. 
Chelsea said that she wanted to know the other half of who she was, and after getting to know her bio dad, she wanted a relationship with him. Chelsea asked my dad to support her decision and forgive her bio dad so we could all be one big happy family. I don't know why she thought that was a good idea, but she realized her mistake when my dad called her ungrateful for all that he did for her, and said that if she wanted our mom's former affair partner around so bad, then he could fully step into the role of father and pay for her college. My dad has effectively cut Chelsea off financially, and is no longer speaking to her. Chelsea has been sobbing on and off, and our mom is worried about her future education. She called our dad selfish and wanted me to stop speaking to him until he apologized and made things right, as an act of solidarity towards my sister. While I understand my sister's hurt, I don't see why I have to cut ties with my dad when he's done nothing wrong to me. I love my dad and still want to talk to him, but my mom and a few members on my maternal side of the family are saying that I'm a being a bad sister. How do I navigate this? Now for the top advice. Your mom is absolutely in the wrong here. The problems between your sister and your father is between them. Your mom trying to make you choose sides, is manipulative and overall toxic. Exactly what I would expect from someone who would get pregnant in an affair. Tell her that their fight is not your issue. Tell her that you can support both your sister and your father best, by staying out of their issues. Tell her that he has every right to be upset for the situation that she, your mom, put him in. If those people are saying you are a bad sister, then I would seriously rethink those relationships. It seems that your mom's side of the family might not have the best judgment, and should have anything they say taken with a massive grain of salt. Wait, your mom cheated, had a child with this other man, never told your father, let him believe the child was his, expected him to continue to support her even after she reconnected with her biological father, and she accuses you of being a bad sister for wanting to have a relationship with your father? LOL. This situation is all kinds of messed up, and it's 1000% the mom's fault that any of it is happening. She has no right to tell the father how he should act in any shape or form. If anyone should be cut out of their lives it should be her. First of all, your sister is 19. She's mature enough to understand the situation. Secondly, your family is really being ungrateful for what your dad did for her for such long time. And of course, she really screwed up. Your dad is angry right now, let him calm down on his own. Don't push too hard, or else the situation can get worse. Your dad is not selfish that's for sure, after what I've read in your post. Don't get manipulated by your mother and her family. Now for the last story. How do I, 25 female, tell my brothers, 29 male, new girlfriend, 23 female, that she's not invited to my wedding? When me and my fiancé, 25 male, got engaged, my brother Peter, 29 male, was married to Tina, 29 female, and they have an adorable little girl together, 4 female. Naturally when it came to sending wedding invitations, Tina got one, and I asked if my niece would be the flower girl. All good. Literally less than a month later, Tina has kicked Peter out and filed for divorce, because she found out he had been cheating on her. About a month after that, during Covid lockdown no less, Peter just turns up at my parents house with the girl that he's been cheating on Tina with, Freya, 23 female. At the time, I thought it wouldn't last long, the wedding wouldn't be a problem. But it's now been 6 months and Freya are very much still around. My extended family, grandparents, uncles, aunts, people who are invited to the wedding, are all still under the impression that Peter and Tina are happily together, because my mother wants my brother to be the one to tell them and he has not. Now, I really like Freya, she's a lot like me in many ways, but I also love Tina because she's family now. I'm a very laid back person, and I really don't want drama on our wedding day. Tina has already made it clear that she and my niece won't come, if Freya is there, don't blame her at all. Peter, meanwhile, has been talking about the wedding whilst Freya has been present as if he's already invited her. Peter is not known for his reasonable handling of situations that do not go his way, and I fully expect him to either, a, turn up with Freya on the day, even if I say not to, b, demand Freya is invited or say he won't come, or c, turn up without Freya and cause a scene with Tina. All of which equals drama and awkward explanations to the family, that I'd really rather not deal with on our wedding day of all days. Freya seems reasonable, so I feel like talking to her about it may be the best way to go about it but honestly, I'm dreading the fallout and I don't know how to phrase it. Any advice would be hugely appreciated. Edit, a lot of you are asking why I still have Peter in my life, and the simplified answer is that, I'm scared of cutting him out. He is bipolar, 
which is why me and my family tiptoe around him as he has threatened self-erasure in the past, and we are all terrified of pushing him over the edge. A lot of you are also condemning Freya, which may be warranted, however Peter is a compulsive liar and very efficient gaslighter, and I sincerely doubt Freya knows the full story. My best guess is that, Peter told Freya that Tina was a horrible person, and he was miserable in his marriage, and won her over that way. Of course, I could be wrong, and maybe Freya gets kicks from sleeping with married men. Who knows? To those of you suggesting Tina is holding my niece hostage, she has made it clear that she doesn't want my niece to meet Freya until the divorce is finalized, as she feels it sets a bad example, infidelity, for my niece, and I actually completely agree. Thank you all for your words, the good and the bad, I'm reading every single comment and trying to reply where I can. Now for the top advice. Be blunt. Let him flip out. You are an adult on the brink of starting your own family, and at your family events, he will abide by your rules. Then, you tell the groomsman to keep an eye on this guy. If he shows up with a girl, don't let him in. If he starts switching you out at your own wedding, remove him. Unfortunately, he has had years of practice and reinforcement that he can walk all over me and our family because we are all pushovers and he is, quite frankly, scary. The more I think about it the more I feel like hiring a bouncer slash usher slash security person is a good idea, to keep any potential drama scenes away from the bulk of the guests, and us. OP, please do this if only for your own sanity. I've had friends who were like you and wished they had security, so they didn't have to deal with family drama on the day. I honestly can't believe it didn't occur to me before all these wonderful helpful people on Reddit. Absolutely looking into it. Please appoint someone, an usher to stand at the door in case your brother tries to pull some mess up stuff. Honestly, I'm tempted too, but it's such a low-key wedding I feel like hiring an usher may be a bit excessive and cause more questions. I've never been to a wedding that had a bouncer, and I can already hear the, why on earth did you think you needed security? My brother comes across as a very reasonable and light-hearted person to the vast majority of people he meets. It's only those who know him well that know he can flip and do something drastic. I wouldn't hire someone. But a family friend? Oh yeah. I still plan on doing this at the hint of potential familial drama. No invite no entry. Thank you for the suggestion, I'll definitely look into this. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.